Hello, my name is Pete Gerlach. I've been a professional family therapist for 31 years, and as part of that work and discovery about myself and all other people, I have found that in 1986, I found through, quote, chance, that I was an ACOA. That meant nothing to me at the time. I now know it means adult child of an alcoholic parent or an alcoholic family, ACOA, also known as ACA, Adult Children of Alcoholics. My discovery in 1986 virtually changed my personal and professional life. I have studied addictions and that led to the study of dysfunctional families and that has led to the study of childhood trauma and the psychological results of childhood trauma, parental abandonment, abuse, and neglect. And that has led me to theorize that there is an unseen cycle of psychological wounds and ignorance that is passing down our generations and that may, in fact, have affected you and any, of ch any children you may be raising. What I've discovered as a therapist, I've worked with many, many troubled individuals and couples. A routine question that I have asked early in the work is, do you think either of your parents or the adults that raised you were addicted? A common theme to the answers I get is, well, I don't know, but uh, he or she, mom or dad or somebody, uh, drank a lot. Many people are unclear how to judge what a true addiction is, and they are reluctant to brand their parent as an addict. Frequently, when I ask further questions about characteristics of my client or student, I find that they have the exact same characteristics as we ACOAs. So the purpose of this video is to alert you <coughs> in case you think that possibly one or more of the adults who raised you um, might have been or certainly was an addict and compulsive harmful behavior there are four types of addictions by the way not just alcoholism if you think that possibly one or more of the adults that raised you uh, was an addict that is cause to be uh, highly alert because you may have, without knowing it, inherited up to six psychological wounds. Quickly, they are these. Excessive shame and excessive guilt. Those are separate but similar. Excessive fears, which can manifest as chronic worrying or anxiety, excessive reality distortions, the most common of which is denial, major problems with trust, trusting people too easily and getting betrayed, or not trusting trustworthy people. Uh, distorted thinking is another characteristic of we ACOAs. <clears throat> Uh, another unfortunate, sad, major wound that many of us have is an inability to form healthy, normal, real bonds with other human beings. We have very great difficulty with intimacy, feeling our feelings, and giving or exchanging love. If either of or any of your ancestors, including grandparents, by the way, had the characteristics of addictions. It's probable that you have inherited two or more of these wounds, a big one that I did not mention, but is the core wound of all, is a fragmented personality which causes your life to be controlled by what can be called a false self. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, this will mean nothing to you. But what I'm here to encourage you to do is 
if you have a, a childhood adult who might have been or surely was addicted, or if you have personal characteristics like these, low self-esteem or an extremely high opinion of yourself, which some people might call egotism or a, seri a superiority complex, you feel often significantly guilty about various things. You are chronically anxious or worried or pessimistic or cynical or sarcastic. You tend to do black or white thinking. They're right or they're wrong. You're safe, you're on time, or you're late. You're with me or you're against me. It's my way or the highway. If you think like that, that is a characteristic of having wounded parents. Um, if you trust too easily, or if you don't trust at all, or very, very guardedly, if you have trouble with intimacy, if people say that you're cold or unfeeling or unempathic, if some people have hinted or said that you, you don't seem genuine, you seem phony, or that you have several different personalities, like you can be friendly you can, you, and you can be enraged, if you uh, are judged to be or you see yourself as being controlling or manipulative, if you are clingy, or if you are uncomfortable with physical touching or hugging or appropriate non-sexual contact, if you're sexually dysfunctional. These are some of up to 40 identifiable, observable behavioral traits of adult children of alcoholics and, more to the point, adult children of dysfunctional childhood families. My purpose in this video is to introduce you, in case you're not familiar with it, to the term ACOA, also known as ACA. This term uh, came about, by the way, in the 1980s. There was an explosion of information and public knowledge in those days, just 30 years, about <clears throat> the scourge of alcoholism, which has been known throughout all cultures, throughout all ages. People began to see in the 1980s, alcoholism was a family problem, not just an individual one. Uh, there were people who were addicted to the welfare of an addict. They became known as co-addicts, uh, co-alcoholics, and that generalized, because it was so widespread, into codependence. That led to the popular discovery <clears throat> of the wounded inner child we now know that there are multiple inner children, and it led to the discovery of ACOA characteristics that I just highlighted for you. So we've come a long way in 30 years. <clears throat> Knowledge is still exploding and spreading throughout people in all cultures. One of the impacts of this in the last 30 years has been the um, has been the introduction of three or four national support organizations because being the child of a dysfunctional childhood family is so prevalent. I would estimate as a professional veteran therapist at least 70 percent of average men and women with or without college education of all races, all backgrounds, at least 70% carry significant psychological wounds and a high percentage of them don't know it or what it means. That means, one of the things it means, is they are in danger of passing their psychological wounds on to their vulnerable young children, just as their ancestors passed the wounds on to them. I make these videos in order to alert you in case you may be unintentionally wounding your children and living a very stressed life. If you are an ACOA or a grown wounded child, 
That's the larger view. That's the real problem. You can assess yourself for wounds, see lesson one in my nonprofit website, and or these related videos. Here are some videos about addictions. Here are um, more videos about your personality, psychological wounds from childhood trauma, and most importantly, how to reduce these wounds once you admit that you have them. So, to sum all this up, if by chance you believe one or more of your ancestors, grandparents, great-grandparents, parents, foster parents, adoptive parents, step-parents, if you feel that any one of them may have had or surely had the traits of addiction, assess yourself for wounds and guard your kids. I hope you'll find this motivational to do some more study and research. If you have any questions about any of this material, please feel free to ask them of me on YouTube or at my nonprofit educational website at sfhelp.org. Thanks for watching.